All right, and welcome back to Retrospect My Fantasy, where we are currently taking a look at the Final Fantasy franchise, and we're on installment number nine. So, uh, there's a couple things that I need to let you guys know. Uh, number one is, thank you for being so patient and waiting for me today. Um, I had to go and get a new phone because my old iPhone was falling apart, and I just picked up the Google Pixel 2, uh, yeah, Google Pixel 2. Um, just got home from getting that activated. So, thank you guys for being very patient with me today. Now let's get going. Um, so, I'm going to skip over our normal and mid-normal, our normal first announcement, our normal mid-roll announcement. Uh, Final Fantasy IX is not responding. Why is it not responding, Precious? Hey, there we go. All right, so... Last time on Final Fantasy IX, we came to uh, this village with the horrible stereotypical accent that I was able to manufacture, um, because let's face it, it is not in any way, shape, or form actually natural. Come on, Final Fantasy, thank you. Um, and we found out that there are a there was a village of black mages, a whole bunch of them. Just hanging out. So, we went and uh, checked out that village. Vivi learned um, stuff. None of it really all that good about himself. Um, about his people, rather. And so that was kind of rough for Vivi. Um, then, when we came back here to move past into Sanctuary, um, we found out that we had to undergo a special ceremony. And that ceremony involves, to a lesser, greater or lesser extent, getting married in a way. Uh, so, Zaiden married Garnet. And... Vivi married Quina. Um, then an incident occurred where a little girl and a Moogle stole some food and were about to get captured. Um, but then they fled and we chased after them. The girl got caught on a branch while the Moogle just ran away. Quina chased after the Moogle while we got the little girl down and that girl is Aiko. Who, as it turns out, is a summoner. So... That is where we left off. I unfortunately did not get an opportunity to do any grinding yesterday, um, despite really wanting to, because a friend of ours is going out of town for a couple days and dropped off their dog. Um, so we are dog sitting on top of everything else. Thanks for delivering mail from Mugmat. Mogmat just moved to a new village. I was worried about him, Kupo. It's been six months since I started living in Kondapiti. The food here is great, and the people are very nice, Kupo. But... But the only thing I can't get used to is the Rally Ho. I keep saying Rally Kupo. Village life sounds hard, Kupo. Hey, Setskin. Yes, I'll buy a magic tag, a tent, and an ether from you. Thanks, buddy. With this money, I can continue my journey. Nice. We put the redstone in. Because there was a hole. So, we did a thing. Hopefully, that's what we needed to do. But, I guess we'll find out later whether any of this actually matters or not. What's that? Huh. That's a very unique looking tree. And it's surrounded by mist. And birds. I mean, it's a very thin mist, but still. There's a lot of mist there. Is that the sanctuary? I hope not. 
Does not look great. <gasps> what the? Are we fighting a T-Rex? I hate fighting T-Rexes. They have lots of abilities. Oh, good. No, it's just a giant. That's good. Who's in some pretty heavy bondage gear, man. Damn. Woo! Look at that hit. Go, Ico, go. Got a mithril fork? Okay. Not exactly what I wanted to get, but I'll take it. Oh boy. Uh... Hey buddy, why don't we poison you? And Aiko, why don't you do a little bit of cannot protect all, huh? Alright, well, why don't we do a little bit of Kira? He can steal. And we can cast Float on everybody. How about that? And now Earthquake won't have any effect on us. Oh, that hurt a lot. Alright. Double bio it is then. Having two white mages is really, really helpful. Pop. Woo! That was a lot of damage. 1,408. It's good damage, Zyvi. Or, BB. But that's what Bio does. A lot of very early damage. Or should I say, early on it does a lot of damage? That'll have to do. Hilgers, huh? Hilgiger. Diger? And it seems to be just increasing with power with every time. What? Dang it, Vivi. Cast the second spell. Yeah, he still got it. Though this one's going to be a little weaker. Phoenix down, that's not nothing. Back up to full. Hip hop. Yeah. Bam. You go, Vivi. You're fucking killing this guy. Too bad we don't have Queena to eat him. Are you freaking kidding me? It's pretty hard. Gotta say, I'm a little impressed. Yeah, that was pretty good. All 
All right. Multiple people then. Good job, Vivi. More than he's got. I mean, not a whole lot more, but still. And honestly, now that I think about it, I would rather have it be slightly more than they can actually use than not. You know what I mean? Oh, Rama. So cool. So much better than all those other summons that we don't have, am I right? Bam, there we go. Good job, Vivi. You won the day. That big monster just shows up from time to time. I usually just run away. But you're a pretty good fighter, Aiko. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, that's not the way to my house. That's the way to the Ifa tree. This way to my place. I was only looking at the mountains. The Ifa tree? I thought it was called Sanctuary. Huh? Oh, that's what the dwarves call it. Everyone else calls it the Aoife Tree. The Aoife Tree? Let's go! Take out the Yellowstone. Let's go back to that other place and put this stone in now. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Yeah, let's get our fight on with some... Trolls, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Solution? Oh, man, that doesn't sound good. Okay. Gonna focus in on Zaiden, huh? Go, Ico. Yeah, we just might need to run from this. Two characters under. Ah, oh, you son of a. Nope. Now it's on. We just need to do some grinding anyway, because we clearly are not strong enough right now. They hit freaking Garnet with this. Good. I mean, that still was way harder than I would have liked it to have been, but, you know, sometimes you just take what little solace you can get. Come on, Zaiden. Steal things! That's what I have you for. If you weren't good at stealing things, I wouldn't keep you around. God dang it. Good job, Vivi. Of course it would. It's Zaiden. He does a fair amount of damage. Alright. Vivi, you really are so much better than the rest of this team. It's quite painful, actually. Oh, hey. I forgot to equip 
her only two abilities. How silly of me. Freaking trolls, man. Both types. I mean, the internet trolls are more obvious, but... And honestly, less painful. Oh, does Stiltskin sleep in here with us? I mean, I'm down if that's, that's what we want to do, but, you know, just not expecting it. All right, well, got two of them. Let's go find ourselves a third. Also, what do I have her? Oh, Phoenix Pinion, that's right, duh. She's learning Cure and Cura simultaneously. Wonderful. Whatever. Hmm. And oh, we got ourselves an ether. And a green stone. Hey, KCD, how you doing? Bum, bum. Is there another? I don't remember if there's a fourth one or not. Nope. Nope. We are not ready for the Aoife tree. Not. <laughs> not even close. We. Actually, that's not true. We can do the Aoife tree in its entirety right now. It would just be rough. Alright, well, there must be a fourth one. I just don't remember where it's at. Oh, well. I mean, we've got three of them. That's pretty good, right? I kind of like this music. It's not like, like overwhelmingly so, but it's, it's not bad. All things considering. All right. Hey, what's this weird looking place? Yep, getting in them fights. All right, come on guys. Let's, ooh, a beetle and a troll. Well, let us worry about the troll first. We really need to get your damage up, Zayden. Because this 75 damage for for Mug is just not cutting it, man. Also, oh, we just need to get everybody's stats way the hell up. But, you know, there's only so much we can do at a time. Hey, a high potion. There we go. The ability hit. I like the ability hit. And that oak rod. Put being able to slow enemies. So useful. Come on. Steal the last thing that it has, Zyden. You can do it. I believe in you to not F this up. 
I don't ask for a lot, Zayden. Just for you to steal stuff. And do lots of damage. And not get hit. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else. So that might be a lot. To some people. But I thought you could handle it, Zayden. I thought you were better than most. Certainly, I thought you were better than most Final Fantasy protagonists. But right now, you're proving yourself about equal. In terms of combat capabilities, a bit more uh, complex in terms of narrative. The longest fight possible against a beetle. Most people would have just had Zaiden kill it by now. Or Vivi. But, uh, nope. We're gonna steal whatever it is this thing's got. And the only thing that's gonna stop me is accidentally killing it. Like that. God, how many, how few hit points must that thing have? Gotta have like what? A thousand? If? Zaiden! This is my home. Made in Sari. It's the village of summoners. The village of summoners? You live here? It's a pile of rubble. Garnet? What happened here? This place is in ruins. Kupo Kupo Kupo. Macho Mocha Chimano Chimomo. Kupo Kupo. Mama Toys Morrison. Where's Mog? No, Mog got eaten. Mog! You can tell he's different. He's got a different color bobble. Kupo. Kupo? Kupo? No, I'm not mad. But don't ever leave me behind again, okay? Kupo, Kupo. Zayden, follow me! Get to work. Kupo, yes, ma'am. Mog, you stay here with me. Kupo. Okay, come on. Kupo. Into her pocket. Did that Moogle just go inside your dress? Yep. Mog always stays with me. I... Kupo. I don't really call that a dress. She's got kind of overalls. Zaiden, come sit over here. Hey, tell me more about yourself. Tell me. Sure, uh, I want to know about you more more about you too, I go. Really? For instance, the Eidolon. Where are you from? How old are you? What do you do? Where are you going? No, what I want to know is, what kind of food do you like? What kind of Eidolons do you like? What type of Moogles do you like? What kind of girls do you like? I've never met anyone like you before. Garnet, uh, what's wrong? You look dazed. Oh, it's... it's nothing. Do you have a fever? Ah! Uh, you're fine. Hey, are you jealous? Why would I be jealous? Are you and Garnet really just friends? Seems like you guys are something more. Well, yeah, we're more than friends. So, what are you guys? We're a team. A team? Yeah. Vivi's also part of the team. Hey, where'd he go?
Is it sort of like me and the Moogles? Uh, something like that. All clean, Koopa. Thanks, Mocha. I'll be right there. I'm going to start cooking. You have to come eat at my place later, okay? There's still stuff I want to ask her. Let's accept her invitation. Okay. I'll call you when the food's ready. Don't go far. Vivi's feelings. Eee. Must have many of those right about now. Ooh. Mr. 288 told me that I understand what it means to live and to die. But it's only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I don't think I really understand what it means to live and die. Where do we come from? Do we go back there when we die? If that's what it means to live, I wonder where I came from. Where will I end up when I die? Why am I shaking? What is that that I'm feeling? Oh, Vivi. I'm a little tired. Understandable. Just making sure there's no little... Jeez, what a dump. I must have been like this for at least 10 years. What can Ipko possibly feed us? Heiko's feelings. Thanks for cleaning. You guys did a great job. A clean house worthy of hosting my hero, Zaiden. But here's where the real challenge begins. I don't think Zaiden and Garnet are dating yet. Garnet has been slow to catch on to Zaiden's moves. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. I'm going to cook lots of yummy food and show Zaiden what a good homemaker I am. Kupo... It might work if you cooked good food. But Aiko screws up a lot when she cooks. We don't have much food stocks right now. I know. That's why I can't screw up. You're all going to help me. No. Kupopo. Kupo, I'm sleepy. You're all going to help. I'm going to cook my specialty. Rock-fisted potato stew. Kupo. Yeah, that's delicious. But the last one you made tasted so bad, I thought my pom-pom would fall off. Just stew? Yeah, I think I think I need another dish. What do you guys think? Kupo, how about some fish? Fresh fish tastes great barbecued. That sounds good, it should say grilled. It's soup and grilled fish, is what. Okay. Our menu is rock-fisted potato stew and grilled, not barbecued. Big difference here. Fish. Let's see. Who should go fishing? Koopo. Who should dig up potatoes? Yep. There we go. Let's start. I have no idea if I picked correctly or not. Grandpa, I don't want to be alone anymore. Help me do this right. Poor little girl. I actually feel really bad for Aiko. Alright, so actually, we've actually got two, we've got two of these things. We haven't checked them out yet. Watching the sunset from the cape, Virgo whispered, My only wish is to be with you now. Libra was a perverse fellow. He would always walk in the opposite direction of the sun. Would he ever see Virgo? They'll never be together. 
Garnet's feelings. A village of summoners. I read about them in a book once. A tribe that possessed the power to call forth Eidolons. Eidolons. Knowing that I had Eidolons inside me didn't bring me any joy. Mother imprisoned me. Used the Eidolons she stole from me as tools of war. I thought I would kill my Eidolons if Kuja was going to use them for war. But now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Why am I thinking all of this now? It must be this location. It feels so familiar to me somehow. That's a restricted area. Restricted? What's that then? Koopo? Zaiden. This place only rocks and sand. I eat star sand once, but sand here, not food. Water look clean. Squee! Hey, don't take her so hard. She's a special case. Alright. Bam! Alright, well, let's go see if we can't hang out with... I feel so anxious. Oh, puppy's barking. Oh, my roommate will go and see him. Vivi! What's up? Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking. Well, try not to think too much. Get some rest. Okay. Thanks, Zayden. I'm going to stay here and think about it some more. Koopo, please wait. Thank you for waiting. Lady Aiko said the suit says the food will be ready soon. I'll take you to the Eidolon wall in the meantime. Please follow me. Well, it was restricted. Aiko's kitchen. How many people do I need to cook for? There's me and Zaiden. And there's that quiet boy Vivi, so that's three. I guess I should cook for Garnet, too. It's four. And now you guys, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll put water on for all the people that I listed. I'll get the ingredients. Koopa. We. Um, how many people do I need to account for, Koopo? Eleven. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, lots and lots of nuts. Should I put in the aglop I found on the... No. Thanks. No, not aglops. Let's start. Get the water going. A good shake of salt. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, another shake of salt. And lots and lots of nuts. I caught one, Koopo. It's heavy, Koopo. Keep stirring, Mamatos. Don't let it burn. This is big. Okay, we'll pull together on three, okay? One, two, three. And then she screams. Everyone screams. Ah. Kind of. We're almost to the end of disc two. So. Take that for what it's worth. Mako was very proud of his role as the Eidolon Wall guard. Aiko's decision to show the Eidolon Wall to Outsider upset him. But we Moogles love Aiko. He'll understand in time. And how's it going, Reaper? Why does the wall need protection? 
The island wall has been protected by Ico Summoner's Tribe for generations. Summoner Tribe? I'm gonna get Garnet. She can use summon magic. Is that true? Indeed it is, good sir. Er, good. Kubo. Hey, Garnet. Come with me. I'll show you something big. Summon magic stuff. Summon magic? Yeah, it's called the Eidolon Wall. Alright, so... If she's all... done with most of these things' as abilities, it's off to just figure out what the best thing for her is then. Which we may... There we go. Of the things we have, that is the best for her. Until we're done with the Sapphire, and then we move the Sapphire over to her. But for now... We are letting that level up on Zaiden. Oh, Mug. I wish you were more like Mug of previous Final Fantasies. Aiko and her people protected the Eidolon Wall for generations. We Moogles also help Aiko protect the wall. Don't mess it up. Where are all the other people of her tribe? I can't tell you. Alright then. Please come in. The island wall is this way. The Eidolon wall is a collection of paintings. The Summoner tribe painted all the Eidolons they found during their research. These Eidolons all exist? Kupo. This is a holy place for the Summoner tribe. Lady Aiko comes here every day to pray and burn incense to her, uh, for her ancestors. What is this one? There's Atmos. That's Bahamut. What's wrong, Garnet? I... You'll get it back. I want to look at the mule some more. Okay. I don't know most of these Eidolons. Uh, the Summoner Tribe honor nat honors nature. They named the world Gaia. They considered the Eidolons guardians of this planet. They attempted to become one with nature through their summon magic research. The tribe migrated to this location 500 years ago, but now... Trying to... Okay. Um... Is, is that it? Yes, it was. All right. Your bait not so good. Pale, white hair, strange clothes. Zidon told me about you. You're Kuja. Zidon look for men named Kuja. I call Queena. Oh, you chased Mog on the Kana Petite Mountain Path. I'm Iko. Mog, don't ever come out while she's around. Kupo, smell good. Don't eat anything. The heat too low. You can cook? It is my destiny, destiny to pursue Wave Gorman. Hmm. I know how many people live in this village. Is Zaiden's group with the Mughals and me make 11 people? Is good amount. 
This heat only strong enough to make food for nine people. It was not possible to make enough for everyone. <gasps> no! I teach you very important lesson, cooking. Always make more than you need. Maybe more people show up. Maybe your guests very hungry. You're correct to make mood for more than ten people. This your only ingredient for stew? Chimomo went to dig up some rock fisted potatoes. This problem now with heat. How we get more heat? Hmm. Ah, I know. I know black mage. I asked him to make fire. There you go. That is actually an extraordinarily good call. With Vivi there to stoke the flames, as it were. Koopo! Koopo! Wow! This looks great! Koopo Popo! Welcome, Zaiden! Have a seat! You made a lot! What's his name? Queena? Help me. She helped you without eating all the food? Amazing. Vivi too. <laughs> Let's eat. How is it? Wow. This stew tastes amazing. You should start a restaurant. The fish is just right. Hey. Ika, where are all the other summoners? Are they hiding underground or something? Underground? Yeah. They're all underground, sleeping the eternal sleep. What? I'm the last survivor of my tribe. I've been living with the Moogles ever since Grandpa died last year. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm really happy here. Ten years ago, which is four years before I was born... A natural disaster struck the village. Even the survivors suffered a great deal. But my mom and dad fell in love and had a family. Not that I remember what they look like, because they died when I was very young. I see. I have been told when I turned 16, my body builds a resistance to summon magic. I can leave the village with any item on I want. That's only a short time away. Just like the small difference but just like the small difference between our ages, Zaiden. But you already know how to s use summon magic, Iko. Well, a summoner can't choose her Eidolon until she comes of age. That's why I can't choose an Eidolon or leave the village until I turn 16. We just keep training until then. How do you train? How? Oh, it's our horn. We use our horns to communicate with the Eidolons. How do you communicate without a horn, Garnet? I'm like a beautiful young heroine in turmoil, don't you think? Huh? You know why I'm here in this village? It was to meet you, Zaiden. My beautiful shooting star. That's a line from Lord Avon's play Wish Upon a Star. How did you know? Darn it. How does Ico know about that play? This place is far from the Mist Continent. Thank you. Thanks, Ico. That was really good. See? Don't you want to eat my food every day? Maybe. Hey, there's some other stuff I want to ask you. Maybe. That's so rude of you. Zaiden, help me clear the table. Bring the pot over to the kitchen. Aha. Before that, we shall get more ore. There are so many old books here. I think this one is Lord Avon's Wishing Upon a Star. Can you believe this? This is a first edition. I've only ever seen one in the castle library. Why does she own books that are more than 500 years old? Why do you think? Summoners came here from somewhere, right? So, it wasn't just Garnet. 
Zidane's really slow too. Those two are going nowhere fast. Well, this is good news for me. Is there something on my face? Thanks, Zidane. You can leave it over here. Hey, Aiko. Do you know anything about the Aoife tree? What about the Aoife tree? We want to go there. It's sealed with an Eidolon. You can't get in. Sealed? Did you seal it, Aiko? Well... So he's sharp about certain things. It all happened before I was born, but they sealed an Eidolon that that we failed to summon in the Eva tree. That's our custom, to seal a failed Eidolon where we summon it. An Eidolon you failed to summon? But we use the power of another Eidolon to seal it. Do you understand what that means? That means the sealed Eidolon was so powerful that they needed another one to trap it inside. Sealed with the power of another Eidolon, huh? Iko. Will you break that seal for us? What? No way! It's not like we're gonna do anything bad. Well, I'm sure we can handle it on our own. No way! Are you crazy? This person keeps telling me to catch more fish, Koopo. Zaiden, I make a great discovery. These fish differ from Mist Continent fish. Catch another one. Hey, we got one of our specialty coffees. Anything else out here for us? No. You won't do it? No. Alright, well, she won't do it, she won't do it, right? I don't think there are any books on summoning. We should get some sleep. It's a very good idea, Mr. Moogle. Ah, oh, look at the owls up there. Vivi? You better get some sleep before we leave tomorrow. I tried to stop worrying about things, but I just can't. I know you told me not to think too much, but that's because we're different, Vivi. You don't have to do everything my way, you know. I want to stop. I don't want to feel like this anymore. What if I keep feeling like this? Vivi. Well... In the end, it boils down to two simple choices. Either you do, or you don't. You'd think with all the problems in this world, there'd be more answers. It's not fair. But, that's the way things are. The choice is yours. Zaiden? I just want to protect the people I'm with. Doesn't matter whether I can or not. It's what I believe in. I knew it. I was right. Zaiden is the man for me. He's right. You either do or you don't. My choice is clear. I want to go with Zaiden. You want to know a trick to get things off your mind? Okay. This is an age-old ritual between male friends. Huh. Come over here, Vivi. Let's go together. Doesn't it feel nice to let yourself... to let go of yourself under the stars? Yep. They're peeing. That is the age-old male bonding technique. Peeing together. Zaiden, I want to come back here. When I first saw the Eidolon wall, I was scared. 
But when I went inside and saw the murals, they calmed me. I want to see more. Sure, we'll come back after we check out the Aoife tree. Thank you. We gotta come back and get Queen anyway. We can't just leave him here. Are you coming back here for Aiko too? For Aiko? Aiko's only six years old. She acts tough, but I think she's lonely. I haven't seen her today. You're right. Koopo Koopo. Aiko? <laughs> You can't break the seal of the Aoife tree without calling an Eidolon. You're coming with us? Don't you want me to? Of course I want you to come along. That's what I thought. Okay, I'll join your team for a while. Vivi, Garnet, let's have fun. The Aoife tree is beyond Con Petit Mountain Path. Let's go. Why are you so nice to everyone, Zaiden? Huh? What do you mean by that? Forget I asked. He's just, you know. I think she was mad. I think so too. Please look after Lady Aiko. Come see if, if there's any trouble. Sure thing. Vivi? Whew. Sorry, guys. Have you figured out a solution to your problem? Not really, but I'm moving on. Good. Good job, Vivi. All right. We're all well rested. All right, so here's the question, guys. We've streamed for about an hour. This is pretty close to our normal stop time. Um, and after an incident that happened today, I'm pretty bushed. Um, I'm going to continue until 9 o'clock at least. The question is... Do we want to dig into the next big thing that's probably going to take about a whole hour. Or do we just want to spend the next 20 minutes doing some grinding and some re-equipping and gathering of our abilities? I'll leave that up to you guys. What do you think? Gosh darn it. Gosh, dang. So sorry for that. Well. Pissed off Zaiden, so now he's gonna come rushing up your bum. Yep, missed him. guys don't respond, I'll just do what I'm going to do and call it a short night. A very short night. Uh, just because I am honestly pretty like surprisingly bushed. Um, but I guess that's what happens when you have to deal with a fucking crazy person. And I do mean, like, batshit crazy is what I have to deal with today. Um, 
the best way I can put it in terms of like getting that across without getting to all the details is I believe the man self-harmed to get blood so he could paint a cross on his face in his own blood yes So, that, that was my day. How, how was your day, guys? Oh, auto-regen. It's not perfect, but it is so useful. Come on. You go, damn, Vivi. Ha ha. Dodge that shit. Ha! <laughs> yeah! Screw you. Come on, Zaiden. Well, that was that at least. guys. Just a beetle. Zyden man, I'm really gonna need you to do better than that. Response, guys? Nothing? Alright, I guess then we'll just uh, take it to the hour. Got that high potion. It's better than it attacking me for seemingly no reason. Though I'd rather get, like, a tent or something like that. Something that can affect a lot of people for a lot. It's not looking great. Come on, guys. Got 
Come on, you guys can do it. Ah, a Phoenix Pinion, that's not nothing. It's not really what we need, but it's not nothing. Come on, guys. Just a second here, trying to log into my email and doing it one handed is a giant pain in the butt. There we go. read that here in a second. That's a whole lot of information it just gave me. Actually, hey, here's an idea. Do we have any chocobo tracks around here? Kind of doubt if we do, but you never know. Hey, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. And you know what? We'll just mess this guy up. We'll just scoop him right out. And by... We, I mean, Zaiden. Zaiden will mess this guy up. Look at that, 680. And actually, we're going to have to... The next time Aiko comes around, we're going to use Sakura. Because uh, our team won't make it otherwise. <laughs> Never mind. Guess we'll use Kira right now then. That is not a Gladius. I don't know what kind of knife that is. Definitely not a Gladius. Alright, so first step. Thank you, Aiko. And secondly. Alright, let's see what we can get. Can't go that way. And that is locked off to us. Huh, we actually are pretty locked on this island. Do we have any chocographs that we can use here? Small beach, no. Far away lagoon, no. Maybe far away lagoon. Let's get a... No, I don't think so. I don't think there's any far away lagoon here. That looks like it's more over there. But even if we were on the other side, we wouldn't have anything... Well, that's a chocobo forest right there. Do you guys think that's a chocobo forest? Let's go find out. Look at that beautiful water in the background. 
of that shot. Like, that was just picturesque. Boop, boop, boop. I say I enjoy it, and then I kind of make fun of it. Perfect sense, right? A rack oh that's right she can use rackets and we got enough of those got enough of those got enough of that oh we'll get one more just in case uh, okay yep that is all good okay just making sure Potions don't need them. Phoenix Downs, no. We'll get our way up to 30, so 21 ointments. Which cures trouble. Darkness, Venom, Poison, Grudge, Silence, yep, 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 yep. Alright, now we've got a decent number of uh, tents. So we got a good number of tents. we got a good number of healing items that we can have access to thus far. I'm feeling pretty good. So where was that? Oh, was that that? That's definitely not a chocobo. Yeah, that's definitely not a chocobo forest. So we'll get ourselves this griffin. Just bag him up. Yeah. You go, girl. Woo! Three backliners. That's a little rough. Is it? I mean, Ico and um, Garnet are not great right now. Because they each only have one summon at the moment, but they can get real good. I can't remember what it's called, but I want to say later on, Garnet gets an ability that reduces the MP cost of spells. It might just be summons. I don't recall. And she gets boost, which is not like boost the way it was in Final Fantasy VIII. So you know how... Uh, we can collect those things. Uh, so you know how in... Um, oh god. Uh, what the fuck is that Mount Uglop good for? Okay. Well, I don't know why I have an Uglop, but I do. Um, what was I getting at? Oh, you know how sometimes when you cast a summon, you just get like you get the whole animation where they call are called forth and do their thing, and then sometimes you just get like kind of a 
shortchanged version of their attack. The full version is a boost boosted. It's a higher damage version. If you get the full animation as opposed to just the attack animation. And boost makes it so that you always get that full one. Always. Which is really nice. Hmm. Must have something. Well, I know I have something in between my teeth. But I can't quite tell what it is. But it's really bugging me. But that's, you know, kind of what happens when you hurry home. You don't always, uh, or when you're in a hurry, you don't always take care of yourself the way you should. All right, at least we got some slow on him. Which means less of this, but, you know, it's bound to happen every once in a while still. Hey, nice dodge. All right, guys, we're going to call it there for tonight because nobody spoke up in defense of pushing forward. Um, so, I'm sorry that we had to do a short stream tonight, but circumstances what they are with how my phone was operating, I needed to get a new one. Um, but I thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, I've got big plans for this weekend. Um, a lot of it has to do with our stream and our general community. Uh, one of the things I'm doing is I'm... So before, I ha had all of my backups and archives and everything that we were doing on my personal YouTube. I've since decided to change that over... I made a new YouTube account called uh, Retrospect My Fantasy Archive. Um, so this weekend, my plan is to finish get every, getting everything backed up onto that. I'm almost done. Um, I'm about halfway through Final Fantasy VIII. And then uh, I'm going to make a banner for it for just a little bit below us. Uh, below the stream and then I'm also going to make a header for the YouTube page uh, at least I'm gonna begin the attempts for that um, to make it look as good as possible so or at least halfway decent until I can hire an actual graphic designer to do some art for me um, anyway thank you guys very much for stopping by and hanging out tonight uh, I want to thank a particular KCD and Grim Reaper for participating in chat. Hope to see you guys tomorrow where we will have a normal stream of 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time where we will continue on with Final Fantasy 9 and push on to the Aoife tree. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you guys have a wonderful night and a great day tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>